Hi friends, today I wanted to do something a little bit differently. I am in a program called BYU Pathways Worldwide and as part of that I have two classes. I have a general studies class and I have a religion class which this year happens to be the Book of Mormon and for each of those classes each week I need to teach somebody something that I've learned. And so today, with your permission, I'm going to teach you something that I learned this past week and hope that it inspires you in some way. So what I wanna talk about is a digging deeper, which means after you read the scriptures, you look deeper into some conference addresses, things that the prophets and apostles have said about this subject, and you learn more, you learn deeper. And so one of those videos was Elder Bednar, who's one of my favorites, um, and his talk called Always Have His Spirit to Be With Us. And as I was listening to it and taking notes on it, it reminded me of a more recent talk that he gave in 2016 called Always Retain a Remission of Your Sins. And I can remember exactly where I was. I was in the car listening to that talk and in 2016. And as I was listening to it, I was thinking, oh my gosh, there's something major here that I need to understand. There's like some serious meat here for me. I don't know what it is yet, but one day I'm gonna figure it out. And so when I was um, going over this talk from 2006 uh, for my class, Always Have a Spirit to Be With Us, things started to click into place and I was beginning to understand what I was supposed to understand, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, so I've been talking a lot about being able to discern, having the spirit, what offends the spirit. Um, there, I'm, I could spend the rest of my life talking about this topic and still have something new to talk about each time. But what I really loved about this is that it lays the foundation for that. We've been talking about it, I've been talking about it to you, um, and now I need to kind of backtrack and start from the beginning. How do you get this companionship of the Holy Ghost in your life? And I think we have to start at understanding the Godhead. For me, my understanding of the Godhead is that there is a Heavenly Father, a Jesus Christ, and a Holy Ghost. Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ have bodies of flesh and bone just like we do. We are patterned after they are. And then the Holy Ghost does not have a body because he dwells with us and within us. Um, and so he cannot have a body to do that. And so um, this talk by Elder Bednar talks about qualifying. How do we get the Holy Ghost with us always? And when we say always, we mean always, every day, always. Um, and so obviously you have to have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and um, have a sincere desire to repent. And then you have to be baptized by water and then you need to be baptized by fire. So you need a baptism of water and fire. And he quotes in this talk, Joseph Smith, which he said that you might as well baptize a bag of sand as a man, if not done in the view of remission of sins and getting of the Holy Ghost. Baptism by water is but half a baptism and is good for nothing without the other half, that is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And so it is not complete unless you have the Holy Ghost with it as well. And, um, and then he talks about this gift that we have always how it works, um, the pattern that we have that we've seen in the scriptures with the Liahona, and that the Spirit works with us just as it did with the Liahona um, in Lehi's time. And then he gives a quote of scripture by John, um, found in John 14, 17. And it says, The Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, the world does not have truth. We look for truth in all the wrong places. And um, something that I like to think of, if you gathered up every scientist in the world, whoever was, is, or who will be, they still won't have as much knowledge 
as God. They just won't. Um, and then John goes on to say, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. We can't know truth without knowing God. It's impossible. Um, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. You have access to truth within you by gift of the Holy Ghost through baptism for the remission of sins by water and baptism for the gift of the Holy Ghost by fire, which is not a flaming fire around you. You are not set on fire. It is by laying on of hands that you receive that gift. Um, and so, you know, fire, you think of just a cleansing, purifying fire. Um, and so I was really grateful to be able to be reminded that I need to go back now and read the 2016 talk about always retain a remission of your sins by Elder Bednar because I know that all that, the feeling that I had of the more that I should be able to understand is uh, now unlocked for me to understand. And that's why I love repetitive learning, going back and restudying things over and over again because you get new layers of information each time. And if you can share that with somebody, if you can teach somebody else what you've just learned, it accelerates that, that knowledge, that line upon line, precept upon precept. And precept is, um, you know, I, I like to break it down and think of uh, principle acted upon. So every time you act upon a principle, you learn something, you act, you know. You learn something, you act, you know. And so that is the process for us to fulfill. And so thanks for letting me do something a little different this time, sharing something that I've learned so that I can submit my report and talk about how I taught somebody. Um, and I appreciate it and look forward to it next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.